Welcome back to On the World Plays Out of the Park Baseball 21. It is time now for that 1879 offseason. So, we need to see what we can do about our team continuing to age on us. And that was a rough World Series as we got swept out. So, we're going to jump in and go straight to our awards here. So first off will be gold gloves, so we'll probably pick up one or two of these. I mean, just out of, you know, kind of the, the overall look with there being seven teams in our league. And Anson and Holly Hollingshead and Lip Pike even got one. That's a shocker. Holly Hollingshead. Now um, gave us a little bit of something, a decent defensive center fielder. Um, I still think that was an okay trade we made in shipping. Bellin off Lip Pike. Um, the bat's there. I don't know if defensively he's really a great player, but hey, you take what you can get sometimes. Reliever of the year, probably not going to be anybody that we've got. Nope, and it goes to Frank Buttery. I didn't expect that. Platinum sticks, we probably will pick up a couple of these, because that's what we do best is hit the ball. So Anson, Radcliffe, and Pike, guys you'd expect. Radcliffe, you know, hit his two home runs. He's actually decent stealing bases. He's only 31, so he's, you know, the youngster in this, on this roster. Rookie of the year, again, that's not going to be anybody that we got. These are always worth taking a look at. So John O'Rourke gets it for K.O. Cuck playing center field. A pretty decent looking prospect. Well, he's only, but he was 30. That, that's tough. And the National League, it goes to John Glasscock, Pebbly Jack, and of course they gave him number 69. Now, somebody's playing a joke there. Um, <laughs> so manager of the year, that will be our manager, Jimmy Wood, Cy Young. Now this should probably go to the only Nolan, but I mean, I do think that, um, Al Pratt will be in the discussion here. Yeah. It's only Nolan. He sweeps it. And then Al Pratt gets second. Spalding. Actually managed to finish third. And Dory Dean even got some votes. So Al Spaulding went 19 and 12, 2.65 ERA. He settled in there. Um, the biggest thing with him is that bat. I mean, that's where I think he, you know, really adds value to our club. Um, is having a pitcher who can hit. So MVP. Paul Hines in the American League. He's 24. He's been playing since 1872. Think about that. And he's just absolutely rakes every year. He deserved it. I mean, and Anson gets it. That was going to be... I mean, that's a no-doubter for him. I mean, he does everything really well. Leading in RBIs, hits, batting average, on base, slugging, OPS, you know, those categories. So next up will be a well, Hall of Fame voting doesn't matter just yet. We are nine seasons in. So we're heading off to the winter meetings. So this is where we should be looking and seeing if there's anything available on the trading block. People that might be given away. Scott Hastings, but he can't field anymore. I mean, there's just nothing there. And, you know, we start to look from a depth point of view. Um, you know, there is not a ton. I mean... Whitey Ritterson's an acceptable backup catcher. Not really. I mean, Charlie Hodes, at least, well, he's not really that great either. I mean, we can chop him. 
Let's shop them around, see if there's any value there. Um, we have money, so we can pay for them. See if we can get a little bit of extra value. I don't think whatever we can get, but I don't think we're going to see much value for him. Phony Martin again. I mean, I don't need him back. Bill Coon. Don't need that. Pidgey Morgan. Yeah, we're not after relievers. Um, we could bring Bechtel back. I mean, we barely even played him. But he's 31. Like, what are we getting out of that? I mean, we can come over here and you can look. I mean... You know, we've got both Pike and Foran. I don't think he does anything. He's a little bit better defensively, but that's about it. Jim Carlton, again, is he any better than Devlin? Not really. I mean, that's the thing. Is Do we get better, or does it help us in some way? Um, you know. Young relief pitchers, Dale Williams, I mean, it might get us some value, it gets us a young pitcher. Um, I mean, I guess that's what we're going to look at, see if there's any other young players. You know, just a place to get younger here. And see if there's anything, yeah. I guess we'll trade with Cincinnati. I mean, he's a you know deep backup catcher. I mean, I know there's not much value in these guys, but I'd rather have somebody who's younger and might be able to do something down the road. Um, you know, again, a defensive left fielder and Fred Triacy. Is that worth seeing if they'll throw him in? Hey, well, interesting. Huh. I mean, he's done overall as a player. <clears throat> but, you know, yeah, you're not going to give me Levi. Um, what do you think that's going to take? You think that's going to take Anson, but that's not happening. We're not trading him because he's younger. Um, Ned Connor. He's fallen off. I mean... If we could get John Clapp, we'd probably consider it. But, I mean, he's the same age as I am. That doesn't help me out. Mike Golden? I mean, again, average pitcher. Does he do anything? Does he sh move the needle? Okay, what do you want to throw Golden in? Huh? Oh, you want a lot. Um... Hmm. What else do I have? Would you take John Daly in money? I mean, just out of curiosity. I mean, we haven't gotten to where that would work. Okay, we'll take Golden off. Um... I mean, anybody else that we would consider shopping around here. I mean, Denny Mac, I mean, he has some skill. He can run the bases. What do you want for that to be part of this? So I think that's going to be it. We're going to pick up Dale Williams and Fred Triacy, basically because we just want to pick up, you know, add a little bit of defense here. Um, and we have money to burn, so we may as well do it. Um, so add both those guys to our active roster. Now we'll come back and go shopping on the trade block. Shop a player. Added more pitchers. Burdick, I mean got Daly. Daly's not going to be anything. He's just kind of there for defense. 
uh, and Burdick does some of that. Well, he really doesn't. Um, we've got Andy Leonard just because, you know, can't hurt to have extra people hanging around. Anson, I mean, Metcalf is. That's not even a major league player at this point in time. What's the point? What will you give me for that? I could bring Phony Martin back. Not that I need him. I don't think he really did much when he was away. Mike Brannick's the best player I think they're offering, but he can't hit. So it makes it hard. Cherokee Fisher, I mean, there might still be something there. But he's 35. I mean, Phony Martin at 34, he can't throw a fastball anymore. Like, and he's 83 to 85. I think he's going to start to get hammered. I mean, do I want P.G. Morgan? I mean, I could take him. He could hit, actually. Again. Somebody who can play a little bit of outfield? I think we'll hold off there. I just don't know if there's much else out there. we got a lot of outfielders. We've been collecting. They're getting old. It would help if we could find another center fielder, but I just don't see it there. Um, who do I want to, I mean, Austin, maybe? I mean, he's still got a little bit left. Let's see what they'll, let's just see what they'll give us. It's probably not much. I mean, Jim Carlson? I mean, somebody who still has a little bit of a bat left? That might not be a bad way to look. Um, Count Gedney. I mean, the extra first baseman, I think, is probably the way to go. Um, yeah, I think we're going to look at that Cleveland offer there. If there's anything, Ed Pinkham can't do anything anymore. Um, Jim Carlton, I mean... If he has to, can field. So let's make that trade. He's a little bit younger. Yeah, you don't think it's a great deal, but I'm fine with it. Do they have anything else that's aged that they part with? I mean, I'd love for them to give up George Hall. I mean, I don't know how that package comes together. Yeah, they want Anson for him. Um, you know, Dickie Flowers. I consider him if we can pick him up, but I don't think he's going to go, and he's not really playing much shortstop anymore. Um, yeah, you want Anson too. I mean, this is kind of one of those trades. It's just something. They'll take it. Okay. I think that's the trade we're making. Um, I, mean, I could always add Eleanor White into this just to have a third catcher, but I don't think that's going to be of any value in this mess. So we'll complete that trade as well. Um, I don't think... Yeah, nobody has strong feelings on either of those. And so... Off to the first year player draft we go. So in this draft, we have the 12th pick. We actually don't have the last one, which is rare. There's 40 picks, so we'll get three. So let's start this thing. I mean, Fred Dunlap is a complete stud. Roger Connor, Buck Ewing, none of those guys are going to fall to us. Um, Providence takes Dunlap. That's a great pick. Um, 
the Centennials, they get another star player. They pick Roger Connor, although that's interesting. Because they have too many first basemen now. Because um, they also have uh, Dan Brothers. Cleveland takes Buck Ewing. Not a shock there. Uh, let's see. St. Louis, Smiling Tim Keefe, Old Hoss Radburn to Troy. Is Larry, Larry Corcoran going to hold? No, that was that was a pipe dream. He goes to Cincinnati, making them infinitely better. Stump Weidman to Wooster. Keokuk gets Harry Stovey. Mickey Welch goes to Buffalo. The Athletics get Arlie, the freshest man on earth, Latham. New York takes Long John Riley. And so we are stuck looking at this mess. It actually, is an interesting group of players. We look at somebody like Tom Irwin. I mean, that's the future at short. So that might be an interesting pick. Or we could go Tom Burns. Or that Tom Burns. Or Arthur Irwin. Are these the same player? Arthur Irwin's an elite defensive shortstop. He bats left-handed. That might be the one thing that separates him. Um, then it's just kind of collection of relief pitchers. The only other one is George Wood. Um, I mean, he is major league ready right now at 21. He's, but he's an average fielder. And Mike Moynihan's the other one. Um, I think we're going to go Irwin. I think that's the pick. You know, you grab the elite defensive player um, with an average bat, I think. George Wood is who you want to go with. You like him, huh? But outfielders, there's just too many of them. I think Irwin's the better pick. So our next pick, there's not much here, is there? Yeah, Tom Foreman's the best one, um, and he can play the outfield. Or Rick Leary, who's got some good stuff, too. Um, who do you like? You like Briority? I don't think that's a player I really want. I'm going to go Leary. I'm going to meet that demand. And we get one more pick. And we get two choices. Tom Foreman or Bill White. Well, Bill White's not really a player. Tom Foreman has potential. So we will jump on that. Yeah. And let's cruise to the Rule 5 draft. Jack Leary signs. Arthur Irwin signs. Irwin can go straight to AAA. Jack Leary can go straight to AAA. But Jack Leary. Um, he's going to be allowed to be a two-way player. Um... I think for right now, we do want to put play him out in center um, just to get some. See if he'll develop as a hitter. Yeah, he probably doesn't belong there. Um, he probably belongs in the single A as a hitter where he can crush pitching. And rule five draft pool. Is there anybody? Nobody that anybody wants. Start that draft. Action. Go draft the complete thing. Yep, we don't want anybody. No picks made. Yep. Hall of Fame voting is the next one, although nobody voted. Can all of our guys sign? Everybody signed. Who was the last one? 
Tom Foreman again. Um, Your game strategy is you are going to get played in multiple positions as well. Um, you get used as a two-way player, and you get to play right field. So, that makes you feel a little bit better, as you're going to get to play a bit more. Um, Leary, oh, we already have a center fielder, and we have a right fielder. Actions. Um that are game strategy, so you're going to play left field then. Because somebody has to. And we're going to play, well, we'll try to see if we can get all the way to spring training. I know we won't. You're going to want to tell me. Yeah, I received a personal message. Financial update. Well, we included, but that doesn't really matter because we have more money than we know what to do with at this moment. A draft pick signing deadline. Player development update, John Cassidy, somehow improved, but his potential drops, blah, blah, blah. Okay, spring training begins. We'll see if there's anything that can come out of this. Spring training begins. So, preseason predictions. Where are we looking now? We are still predicted up front, but it is looking much closer. I think the top end is going to start to come in on us here. Um, Anson's on there. Pike, Foran. Ooh, I am not on the list. That's going to be a first. Uh, Dory Dean makes the list, as does Pratt. Uh, Spalding doesn't. I think for once, that's probably in the low side for us. I bet we can get to 60. And they've got the red caps over there. Okay. So... Everybody gets to go up and play. Nope. In spring training, because we have roster spots, so we may as well use them. See if some of these guys will develop a little bit. Yeah, we'll play till opening day. Then we'll have to bring our roster back down to 25. Player development update, Fred Tracy. Yeah, we didn't expect we expected him to be on the downward slide, but we got him so that we had a basically a defensive replacement at this point in time. Um, so, I mean, because that's really all you can do. See how we're looking here. Providence has the lead, so it's going to take a little bit to get there, I think. Um, received a personal message, season expectations, um, we should always win it all, that's our goal. Now, Dale Williams, potential went down, Holly Hollingshead, um, potential power drops, I rating improves, that's probably some moving around, Al Hall. Current contact rating drops, potential contact rating drops. That's not good. I need him to be a reasonable center fielder. Um, just because we need good bodies. So, the preseason predictions again. Now they've got us back over 61. It's going to spread the other way. Um, so that's good. And it's Pratt and Dean. Spalding doesn't make the list. Anson. Haya makes it again. Pike. But nobody else. Four ends dropped off. I mean, they are bouncing around on the edge there. So I need to get my spring training people down. Um, Gardner. Can come down to AAA. Leary. I think he's here. Uh, Pierce. is here. No, I think Dale Williams was the guy we traded for. He can come here. Um, so we still got 34 guys. Corey, I think he was about here. That is the problem with bringing everybody up. Farrell, he's 
AAA. Erwin is it AAA. Hall is at AAA. Stockwell is back at single A. Horman is back in single A. So that's 28. I'm going to peel this down. Three starters. I've got eight really eight pitchers on my staff. That's probably way too many. Um, Hugh Campbell is probably done, but it doesn't hurt to have an extra starter hanging around. So two catchers: Carlton Devlin, Burdock Daly, Fissler Hall. Oh Lord, do we have a collection of bodies? Daly is not going to give us anything, so he can actually go all the way down to Double A. Um, and Leonard. There's still four second basemen, which is an insane number. Metcalf, he can come down back to single A. He's not nowhere near ready, so that's one more I got to take out out of those what nine outfielders that I have hanging around, which is an insane number. So Dole gets to come down. That's probably the right place for him. Maybe double A. Um, I'll let him play in double A. Yeah, he's not done much of anything. So, with that, that is where we are going to go ahead and end this one. We will see you in the next episode when we start this season. Hopefully we can defend our crown and we can regain the title um, as after that disappointing World Series. So, I thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye!